The Plus Series are a new generation of discrete controllers, available in three sizes. Model P6100, 1/16th DIN, 48 by 48 millimeters. Model P8100, 1/8th DIN, 48 millimeter wide by 96 millimeters high. And P4100, quarter DIN, 96 by 96 millimeters. The depth back of panel is 100 millimeters. The controllers accept standard instrument signals such as thermocouples, PT100 sensors, millivolts, linear signals such as 4 to 20 milliamps, and the output or outputs from the controllers are by plug in boards. Consequently, the base unit can be customised to each application as required. The Plus series have jumperless configuration. Many controllers use tiny link jumpers to set input and output types. With the Plus series there are no link jumpers. It is easy to set up and configure the Plus series controllers either from the front of panel display or via a PC. The setup is the same for the three sizes. The base unit can be customised to each application as required by fitting plug-in option boards, relay, SSR boards, a linear board, either for the control output, a linear control output, or retransmission of the process variable, or the set point. Here we have a digital input board, allowing the set point to be set locally on the controller or remotely by a contact closure, such as a switch. We have a remote set point board. With this feature, the control set point can be set using a continuous linear DC voltage or milliamp signal from a, an external device, such as a PLC or from another controller in a cascade application. A 24 volt transmitter power supply board is, is available to provide excitation of sensors. Here we have an RS-485 serial communications board. These boards are fitted into the base unit. Simply remove the controller from the housing. And then fit the board. The boards that are fitted into the base unit are automatically detected. To program the controller, press the up and the scroll buttons together. I'll do this on the 1 16th DIN size one, the P6100. Let's go to the configuration menu. This is where we can configure the controller for the type of input. Default code is 20. Here we are, we've set for a PT um, input signal in degrees centigrade. Here are the other options, 4 to 20 milliamps for example, 0 to 10 volts, a whole range of thermocouples. Where there's a dot between the digits, it means that there is a decimal point, one decimal place. For example, if I go back to PTC, this would be a PT100 input signal with no decimal point. I'll choose this one, PT.C, so I've got one decimal place. Here's the range, upper range of 537.7, however I can refine that uh, if I wanted to have a, a range more suitable for my application. Upper limit, lower limit, again I can adjust that range. Type of control, um, single control if it was perhaps just a, a single output for a heating application for example. If it was for uh, heating and cooling operation where we've got two outputs, 
and it would be dual. The type of action, direct or reverse acting, alarms could be fitted, the use of the main control action, use one, is the primary. So let's come out of that menu, go into the setup menu, default is 10. Here I can set the proportional band terms, the proportional band, the integral and the derivative terms. Also set point limits, I can put um, an upper and lower limit on the set point that I can allow the operator to, to, uh, to select. So say for example I didn't want, if I didn't want him to be able to go to the uh, maximum and minimum of the ranges I can change the upper and lower limits of the set point. Info, this menu, it shows us the type of um, input that's coming into the unit, universal input. Uh, I've got one relay board on option one, the output. I haven't got anything else fitted. Firmware version, state of manufacture, and the serial number of the controller. Tuning, this is where I can select auto-tune if I wanted. Um, auto tune, self tune, and then back to operation, normal operating. Connections to the controllers are by terminal connections, screw terminal connections, on the rear of the housing. There is also a terminal connection diagram on the side of the housing. For further details of the Plus Series controllers, please go to our website www.wardindustries.co.uk.